What's up everybody, my name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. But for those of you that have been here for a while, you will know that when it comes to screwdrivers, I do like screwdrivers that serve a single purpose, like a slotted screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, torque screwdriver. I like those single use screwdrivers, but I also like a multi-purpose, multi-use screwdriver. One of my favorites happens to be blue and white. Everybody knows that I believe you can't beat the orange-handled screwdriver from HDX. But what if you wanted something just a little bit nicer, but maybe with a few more functions? Well, today, I got something for you. Isn't that what they say? Sometimes, like, on the streets, I got something for you. And every time they say, I got something for you, it, it seems like it's pretty serious. Well, so is this, and it's coming right up. So what I got for you for $7.97, that's right, you heard it. I picked it up, it's during Ryobi days, but it's probably more to do with the Memorial Day sales. Over at the Orange Big Box, they had the Milwaukee 11 in one. This is nice, it looks like it's got a nice, I'm gonna say it looked, it looked like it had a nice cushion grip. Now that I'm taking a closer look at it though, I don't know if it really is. It kind of looked like it could be hard plastic. But it was literally $7.97. Now, I'm a big fan of the HDX, the orange screwdriver. You can never have too many of these. You leave them laying all over the place. And I have another, the, like I said before, the orange and blue multi-purpose screwdriver. It's around nine bucks, right? I have tons of those. I will say, I never had good luck with my Klein multi-purpose screwdrivers. It always seems like you lose the, the small bits and blah, blah, blah. Well, and a lot of people have told me they like these Milwaukee's, but I never tried them. So for $7.97, I figured I should give it a shot. It is product number 4822-2761. It's their 11-in-1 multi-bit driver with Torx bits, pretty cool. It's coming with a Phillips number one, a Phillips number two, slotted 316, slotted quarter inch. It's covering the basics. You got the square number one, Torx number 10, square number two, Torx number 15. Then if you're into the nut drivers, you got quarter inch, 5 16th here, okay? And then 3 8 We're gonna have to take a look at that. It also has another feature that's pretty cool that I'm gonna wait until the very end to show you. So you got to stick around. We're skip ahead. But guess what? We're gonna trick you. We're not gonna put it at the very, very end. So you're gonna go there, you're gonna have to go back. And then you're gonna get so we're gonna hide it in such a place, you're gonna get so disgusted that you're gonna be forced to have to watch the whole video anyway. Then you're gonna leave a comment and go, oh, this video could have been two minutes. Yeah, it could have been if I actually took into account anything that you haters say. That's why we're gonna make this video. If you want it to be two minutes, we're gonna make it six minutes, okay? And then when you say the video could be three minutes, then we're gonna make it nine minutes, okay? And then when you complain that it's nine minutes, okay, it could have been six minutes, then we're gonna make it 16 minutes. We're gonna make them bigger and better every time. All right, let's get on with the, the unboxing. This tool is engineered by Milwaukee Tool professionally made in China. I wanna get it unboxed. It's time, I feel like it's time to get it un unpackaged. Whoa, whoa, man, their packages are tough. Definitely not frustration free. I got a little frustrated. It does have a limited lifetime warranty. If you wanted to find out the specifics about the Milwaukee limited lifetime warranty on hand tools like this, 11 in one screwdriver, go on over to milwaukeetool.com or call 1-800-SAWDUST. An awesome representative will answer the phone and tell you everything that you'd wanna know. You know, this is the thing, I gotta un, I, I'm like unpackaging this thing and, and these little bits, they're coming out and quite frankly, like now I'm not certain where they should be installed. 
You know what I mean? Like, you know, should I, where, where should I put them at inside this multi-purpose screwdriver? We're gonna do this together, you and me, bud. Now, like I suspected, this is not a hard plastic. I don't know if you could see it. It's not insulated, but it does have a nice rubber over mold. Now this here, this is plastic. They've, they've like fit in. I, I almost feel like this can be pulled out, but you could see that, like look at that. That is a nice rubber. See that? Look at that. Whoa, look at it. And it's thick too. It's not like it's just a topical type treatment. It's, it's thick. That is a nice handle. I feel like that while I'm working and I get sweaty and I'm glistening and I'm wiping the sweat off my head and then I go to tighten down my screws, I don't have to worry about this screwdriver slipping in my hand. Pretty cool. The other thing is, is that it does have etched, etched on the shaft here. Milwaukee 4A22-2761, pretty cool. Now, you can see the different size nut drivers. Sometimes you'll get a bonus. They'll make one more of these nut drivers. Boom, because they are all different sizes, except for these two. It's predetermined where you should install these bits. We'll flip that around. Here goes your number two. Nope, your number one and your number one slotted. And on this side, I will say this is lightly oiled. We have our number two. Um, Phillips, beautiful. This is fully assembled in the right position. Now, the whole reason I needed this screwdriver, okay, was because in a previous video, we drilled and tapped this table and what we're doing is we're holding down this lower tabletop in place with these screws. If you wanted to learn how to drill and tap up to number 10 gauge metal in one easy step, go to this video here, and then you could use your multi-purpose screwdriver to drive the screw. I gotta tell you, it fits that screw head really nice, really nice. These two inserts, I feel like, I feel like there could have been something better done, but the reality is, is that they, I guess they wanted to use standard size bits for the quarter inch, okay? So, so they have one, two, three, four, quarter inch drives if you think about it. Then we have a single 5 sixteenths, okay? And then the single 3 eighths. That makes 10 functions. So quarter inch, whoa, and it is lightly greased. You'll see here, fits those quarter inch fasteners really nice. Locks on, you can back that out. No big deal. And you'll see how it fits into, that, I mean, that drive, that really fits nice. Now, we have no problem. It's not magnetized, so we'll have to hold, and then boom, to drive that screw one more time. One more time. You can't stop. We're gonna celebrate. Now, you have to pull out that quarter inch. Drive, boom. You move on to the 5 sixteenths, and you know, might as well pull it all the way out for you. Boom. You'll see how well that fits. Now, let's drive that back in, because I don't want to lose this self-tapper. As for the 3 eighths, I think we're out of luck. But you can see, you can drive a 3 eighths nut. Pretty cool, I like that, I like the versatility. Really, a screwdriver like this is one of the first things. Matter of fact, I'll grab my, my safety glasses, a pencil, 
okay, my paperwork, and a multi-purpose screwdriver just like this one, when I go into like 99% of my service calls, like if I have to go and service a client, break, fix work, specialty work, something like that, one of our clients, uh, this is literally will solve a lot of the problems. I grab this first, go in, get the lay of the land, see if it's something I can fix with my multi-purpose screwdriver. And if I can't, I go back out to the truck and get I get start get I get the bigger tools, you know? But I promised everybody there was a feature of this multi-purpose screwdriver I was gonna share with you, but you had to wait until somewhere around the end. Well, here it is. Okay? This has, I showed you 10 of the functions already. I saved the best for last. Last. If you had some standard cable and you needed to make some of them fancy curly Q loops, okay? They have a little slot here on the screwdriver. You insert your wire, spin it around. Boom, look, you got your little question mark. You got your little curly Q. Wow, pretty neat if you stuck around till the end. You just learned something that other people that didn't stick around for didn't learn. And if you like having the ability to bend curly cues and question marks to your preference, then smash the like button. Listen, everybody, I think for $7.97, this is going to, multiple of these are going to make their way into my tool bags and my tool belt. I don't know how long they'll last at the orange big box, but go and check them out. With that, I want to say I appreciate every single one of you being here with me while I check out my new 11-1 screwdriver. Thanks a lot, everybody. I'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.